this young music of ours, jazz, the most vital art of the 20th century, with its own young traditions and its continuing flow of innovation, invention, and your classical music with 5,000 years of tradition. Who could have dreamed that they would meet here in Bombay tonight? Only the young in heart. Well, it's been quite a week in Bombay for all of us during India's first Jazz Yatra, 78. I was pleased, of course, that my fellow countrymen, Sonny Rollins and his group, and Clark Terry and his group, Don Ellis and his group, Joe Williams, uh, were the success with the public that, uh, that I hoped they would be. I was pleased that, uh, as a matter of fact, everyone was a success here. I didn't hear one mediocre group, and that's rare. I can think of few festivals at which the quality has uh, not dropped below a certain minimal standard from time to time. Uh, the Polish groups, uh, Namiswowski and Niemen Laboratorium, uh, the group from West Germany, from Japan, from the three Scandinavian countries, uh, Sweden, Norway, and Denmark. Everybody, I think, was a hit, a success. And I think it surprised many people in Bombay that uh, the event did become such a success. There was a certain amount of skepticism beforehand about the possibility of bringing it off, of getting everyone to come. And I think perhaps the uh, uh, Jazz India Committee, which organized the festival, was a little worried about whether or not all the seats would be filled. Well, they were all filled every night, seven nights, in fact. Uh, they were overfilled, people standing around and sitting on the walls and back and people outside trying to get in. Another particularly interesting aspect